is a very cool Google Suites program that is going to allow us to be more interactive in how we solve and manipulate our math problems. So when you go into the assignment, there's going to be a link to the Jamboard task right here. So Unit 1, Factoring and Distributing Jamboard. So when you click on that link, it's going to take you to, it's going to open up the file and for you, you're going to be a viewer. You are not going to be able to edit any of these frames that we have here until you make your own copy. I have it in protected mode to make sure that every student who logs in isn't editing my original template. So what you need to do, don't go up to the top right where it says view only and request edit access. That's not going to work. So the most effective way to get your own version that you'll be able to edit is up where it says share. There are the three menu options for more, op, uh, more actions, the three dots. Click on that, and then you'll be given the option to make a copy, just like if it was a Google Doc. So you select make a copy and give it a name and wherever, whatever file you want to save it in, if it's in your My Drive, and then um, I recommend if you don't already that you have a file for our class. So you would select it. You can rename this something else, but it's probably more efficient if you at least keep the U1 factoring and distributing. You can either say assignment or just keep it as copy, however you want to name it, and you just hit OK. So then that will open up your copy, and you know that because the title of it is up at the top. Here is my protected one. Here is your version that you can edit. Okay, and once you have the editing capabilities, these features, these editing features will appear in a menu on the left side of your screen. So the top is a pen feature where you can select the color and even the thickness or style of the pen if you want to do manual writing. If you make a mistake, here's the eraser feature. Uh, this, the arrow is just for your scrolling feature. If you want a little sticky note, so down here at the bottom of this home screen, this first page is examples of what a sticky post-it looks like that you can put text in or whatever. That's not really going to apply to this session, but it's good to know for future sessions. Um, if you need to make your own shapes here, if you select where the circle is, there's an arrow pointing to the right if you click on it. It gives you other shapes that you can make. And finally, the most valuable tool is going to be the text box. This is where you can create your own text boxes to enter in your own answers. So it just depends on whether you want a nice clean looking answer or more um, rough sketched answer by using um, the the pen. So generally I would maybe recommend this marker because it's a little more robust as far as the shape goes. Uh, don't use something that's too soft and hard to see as far as colors go. So on each one of these jam boards you're gonna have uh, instructions, information. It's really important that you read all of these. They're not too wordy. And then up at the top middle of your screen, there are your frame bars where you can arrow from one frame to the next. Or if you click on the rectangle themselves that says what frame you're on, you can scroll through and see all of the frames present in the Jamboard. All right, I'm gonna click back out of there. Okay, so if we go to the first one, Here's, it's explaining what the area model is, and then it wants you to go ahead and practice this. So you're going to practice the process of factoring on your own. Now the template is already set up here for you. So when you, if you have 2x plus 18 and you want to then fill in the unknowns, if you click in that text box, it will then highlight it and then double clicking in it lets you then have the cursor inside where you can then type your answer. So um, say if that's nine and X, okay? So the distributed or the factored form of two X plus 18 is two times the sum of X and nine. Then they already filled in 
we have some of the areas, so our original values, and then these values share a common factor of two, so it's on their shared dimension. But we need to fill in what the missing dimensions are here. Well, we've already figured out that it's X and nine, so I click out and I can either double click in the box, erase it and type in my value, or I can delete the box, and go to my pen, and we'll maybe make it a blue as long as it's easy enough to see. And I can write a nine. It's a little messy, but as long as it's legible, it's all good. So same thing, we'd go back to a cursor here to replace the blanks with values. You could just click in it, double click to get the edit cursor, and then you can type in your answers. Now, if you wanted to add a text box to show the missing feature right here, you click on text box and you double click where you would like your box to be. You can then resize this for your needs. And then once you have that, you can move it around when you have the crosshairs or, and then when you have it where you want, double click inside, you can see the flashing cursor to be able to type in whatever the dimension of that box or that, that side is. Do the same thing up here. But for you, maybe you feel like the pen is gonna be a faster method. So you can just handwrite it and then go back up to the top, move to the next screen and keep working from there. It's gonna then switch from factoring to distributing. Again, you just click when you wanna edit the text and use the pen feature to fill in wherever you would like. And that's Jamboard in a nutshell.